Picking up from where we left off, says solve the linear system. Is this the linear system? Do the x's and y's have weird stuff at all? Th those are two lines. Ugly, because there's lots of fractions, but those are two lines. What did I say? There's lots of what? Let's get rid of them. That's the first. If, if you give me something yucky, I turn it into something a little prettier. Sort of like girls in makeup. Never mind. Um, what would I multiply that first equation by so that I could get rid of all of the fractions? Look at that first equation. What are the denominators of equation number one? Three and two. What could I multiply that by that would clear all the fractions in that first equation? Six. So right now, we're going to go, before we even start, times by six, times by six, times by six. And we're going to get a brand new equation. And if I could give you any advice, I would say be organized, be tidy, keep things nice. So equation one, we're going to multiply by six. And so that first one, Kenzie, is really uh, six. Oh, I erased it. That was dumb. Kenzie, this is really saying 6 times 2 divided by 3x. What's 6 times 2 divided by 3x? This really becomes 4x, much nicer. And then there's a minus sign. That second one is going to become 6 times 1 divided by 2y. And then there's an equal sign. 24. That's my new equation number one. <laughs> what would I multiply this second equation by? Four. Could do eight. Would, it would give you a bigger equation. Four is the nicest way. So I'm going to go uh, times by four, times by four, times by four. By the way, notice you multiply everything by four in the first equation, even though that that 4 doesn't have a fraction. I multiplied everything by 6. Uh, when I do that, oh, what will I end up with? What x plus what y equals what? 2x, is he right? Uh, yep. Plus 1y equals 10. So I'll multiply that second equation by 4. Now I'll solve. Now, if they hadn't said solve by addition to eliminate, I would use substitution because it's pretty easy to get that second y by itself, and I like the substitution method. But they did say solve by addition to eliminate. I think it's going to be the easiest to get rid of the y. How could I get rid of the y's? Multiply what by what? Uh, top one by one. Am I going to bother doing that at all? No. OK. So. Uh, equation number what by what? <laughs> equation number two by three. Uh, let me see here. So an equivalent linear system is 4x minus 3y equals 24. 2x plus y equals 10. That's the same system. It's equivalent. May look different. I think that looks much nicer. And. To eliminate y, turn the page, multiply equation 2 by 3. So both y terms have the same numerical coefficient, a 3 or a negative 3. So we're going to get this, the first equation, which was 4x minus 3y equals 24. That's equation 1. And then we're going to take equation 2. We're going to multiply it by 3. I'll scroll down in a second. Cole, can you multiply that by 3 and just read it to me? What it, what's it going to be? No, the whole thing. 6x plus 3y equals Say that again. You guys all write it down, and then I'm going to scroll down. 6x. 6x plus 3y equals 30. This is why I like doing this all on one page. So you don't have to try and flip back. 
Add. Uh, 10x. Sarah, what happens to the Ys? Sarah, 24 plus 30. Sorry? 54? Is this going to work out evenly? OK, I'll deal with it. That's fine. I didn't expect it would with all those fractions to begin with. Uh, it looks like x is going to be 54 over 10, or in lowest terms, 27 over 5. You can now substitute x equals 27 over 5 into, now, the person who typed this wrote equation 1 to solve for y. I would not use equation 1. Which equation is it going to be easier to get the y by itself? Equation 3 or 4 in this, I think I would plug it into here. Okay, so where it says equation one, I'm going to stick it into equation two. So I'm going to get this. Uh, the original was 2x plus y equals 10. 2, 27 over 5 plus y equals 10. Now what? Felt sad. Any suggestions? Yeah. Okay. So two times twenty-seven over five. Fair enough. So you're saying that's going to be uh, fifty-four over five plus y equals ten. Sure. Felt sad. I could, but I would get rid of the fraction first. I would go like this. Times by 5, times by 5, times by 5. That's what the F part of the felt sad thing stands for. Because then I think what's going to happen, Brandon, is there the 5s are going to cancel, and I'm going to get 54 plus 5y equals 50, and I would argue that looks way nicer. And in fact, probably some of you can even do the rest in your head just about. How would I get the 5y? Well, how would I get the y by itself? What would I do first? I wouldn't divide by 5. That's going to be later. That's the d part of felt sad. What would I do first? Minus 54. Can you do that in your head? 5y equals negative 4. that okay? Now what? Divide. divide what? Less pronouns, more nouns. Sorry? Divide by 5. So you're saying that y equals negative 4 fifths. You know what? I forgot to put a box here to make it stand out. Let's put a box here to make it stand out. So we're saying the solution is 27 over 5 comma, negative 4 over 5. It says verify. Get your calculators out. You can verify these by hand, but let's use the technology, especially for ugly stuff. Got it? Um, the first equation. And I'm going to use the typewritten equation that they gave me without those sixes, because I may have made mistakes along the way. So let's fall back and use the original, original question, because if it works there, then I know, oh, I didn't do any sloppy mistakes along the way either. How would I type 2 thirds into my calculator? You can either, no, no decimals. As soon as you do decimals, you're rounding off. Never decimals. The only decimal I'll do is 1 half is a 0 0.5. That I'll live with. But everything else, fractions. How do I type 2 thirds? Either 2 divided by 3, or some of you may have a fraction button, that little A, B over C. 
two fraction button, three. I just use divided by. So it's going to be two divided by three times. Now I'll put this in brackets. What was X? 27 over 5, close bracket, minus 1 half times, put Y in brackets. What was Y? Negative 4 over 5. If I hit equals, what's that supposed to work out to? 4. Does it? Ah! Hey, great. You know what? Probably the fact that it worked in the first one, Ty. I'm probably going to be Ty. Okay, Ty, give him an elbow for me. Wake up, alert. Uh, probably it's going to work in the second one, but I'll check anyways. Uh, one half bracket or times bracket 27 over 5. I might not need the brackets. I'm not sure. Some calculators work differently, so I'm just being a little paranoid. Minus 1 quarter times bracket 4 over, f oh no, negative, Mr. Duick. Negative 4 over 5. What's that supposed to work out to? What's that supposed to work out to? 5 over 2, it says, right? Uh-oh. <gasps> we made a mistake somewhere. You got 5 over 2? Did I type it in wrong? One. What's x? Is it 27 over 5? Yeah? Because I don't have it on my page. You have it on your page, 27 over 5? And y was negative 4 fifths? Oh, you know what? I typed the equation in wrong. You guys see it? There's my mistake. What's the original equation have there? Plus, I looked at the one above. Oh, have I mentioned that it's easy to make sloppy mistakes in the, yeah. Plus, hey, there we go. That is five divided by two, 2.5. Are we right? Yes, we are. And I think I said to you, if you do all your verification on your calculator, and I say verify, Kirkland, I will trust you if you just go, I'll say, oh, don't show me work. It means you checked it. I guess that means, Kirkland, you could put a check mark there without checking it. Oh, if you have the wrong answer, will I find out the hard way anyhow? Because you have the wrong answer and you put a check mark next to it. Nice try. Mm. Example three. So the elimination method, it works best for yucky equations like this, too. It works best for yucky equations like this. It says solve this linear system by elimination. If they had just said solve, I would have said, it's got yucky fractions. I'm going to use elimination anyhow. Let's rewrite each equation by clearing fractions. What would I multiply that first equation by to clear all the fractions? Sorry? Four. Now, common mistake, folks, that kids make, they go like this. Have you multiplied everything by four? No, then you violated an equation solving rule. They forget to multiply the non-fractions by four. So four, four, I think it's going to become 3x minus 4y equals 8. Yeah? What will I multiply the second equation by? 8, 8, 8. It's going to become x plus, copy it down carefully, Mr. Duick, 2y? equals, which letter is going to be easier to get rid of, the x or the y's? I think the y's would be y's. <laughs> I think the y's would be y's. Oh, you just got it now? 
You would be wise to get rid of the Y's. The Y's would be wise. Why? And now the X is easier in some ways in that I just have to multiply the bottom equation. But wait a minute. I can only get away with also just multiplying the bottom equation to get rid of the Y's. And I already have one positive, one negative. So I don't have to worry about dealing with negatives. You're, you weren't wrong. We were just more right. Either is fine. So what would you multiply equation what by what? Equation 2 by 2? So let's rewrite equation 1. 3x, leave a space, minus 4y equals 4. And I left a space so that I could go equation 2 times 2. By the way, if you're making sloppy mistakes, keeping your equal signs in line, writing things nice and level, that does get rid of dumb mistakes, I'm telling you. Uh, 2x plus 4y equals 32. Add. Logan, when I add, what am I going to get? 3x plus 2x. I agree. What happens to the y's? Woo! Fancy word begins with letter E. Yeah, nice. 8 and 32. 32. In fact, hey, can you do this in your head? Can you already tell me what x works out to? See it? 8. How do I find y? Go back and stick it into one of the equations. Now, you could stick it into one of those ones, but those have lots of yucky fractions, although that one isn't too hideous. You know what, though? Because I suck at fractions, I'm going to stick it into one of my rewritten ones, I think. So uh, I'm going to stick it into here. In fact, hey, 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 can you do it in your head? What's x, Grayson? So whenever I see an x, what can I write instead? So in that second equation, 8 plus what is 16? I think 8 plus 8 is 16. How could I make that an 8? I heard you say it. Someone, huh? S someone over there said the answer is what? 4, isn't it? Right. It's, it's going to be 8 plus 8. How can I make 2 times? Oh, it's got to be a 4 there. Hey, Let's show our work so that when you're studying, you know what the heck we did. But I would have no problem, Rachel, if you were doing your homework and you said, yeah, I can, I can solve that one in my head if it's all nice numbers. I think that's good. While you're at it, Rachel, little elbow. OK. Yeah, we're going to go with a baseball bat. People online are going, baseball bat? Say what? Uh, so we're going to get. 8 plus 2y equals 16, 2y equals 8, y equals 4, 4. Oh, the point is 8 comma 4. Are we right? Let's quickly find out. Again, I always go back to the original typewritten equations just to be paranoid and safe. So it's going to be, what did I say, 8 comma 4? There it is. Uh, 3 divided by 4 times 8 minus 4, that should work out to 2, which it does. 1 divided by 8 times 8 plus 1 divided by 4 times 4 should work out also to 2, which it does. Cool. Hey. I've been trying to convince you. We will be doing an entire lesson on nothing but word problems. And trust me, they get better. But here is an example of one. It says, using a linear system to solve a problem. A playoff football game drew 36,500 fans. Ticket prices sold for 35 bucks and 20 bucks, depending on seat location. I'm guessing one was 50-yard line, one was end zone. I've been to football games. If the total revenue for the game was 940000 how many of each type of ticket were sold? What are they asking me to find here? How many 
So you know what, Jordan? I'm going to let x equal the number of 35 tickets. And you can abbreviate. The first time I did this with you the other day, I think I used a complete let statement in proper English. I just want to list, la label what I'm talking about. Oh, and y equal the number of $20 tickets. OK. Jordan, can you read to me from the beginning? Stop. That's an equation. Oh, by the way, one of the nice things with word problems is there are built-in error checks. For example, can I have a negative number of tickets? I can already tell you x and y better be positive. If they're not, I screwed up. Oh, can I have a decimal number of tickets? Can I have 18.3 tickets sold? So I'm expecting this to work out evenly and positive. Which means if I don't, I know I've made a mistake. There are, I mean, one of the nice things about word problems. Uh, Jordan, can you read that sentence again? Uh, that's, that's an equation. Anybody see it? How many fans? How many tickets did we sell? How many fans? How many tickets did we sell? Yeah. How many fans? 36,500. How many tickets did we sell? 36,500. I'm telling you, that's an equation. I'll even give you a hint. Your equation is going to have an equals 36,500. Brandon, you're right. So don't capitalize that. Isn't the total number of $35 tickets plus the total number of $20 tickets going to work out to 36500 There's your first equation. OK? If you're having trouble with this, don't freak out. We'll spend an entire day on this. This is me getting you into the shallow end a bit. We'll eventually start swimming laps. Hey, what haven't we used yet? Which money? I see three things with dollar signs, so that's not specific enough. Oh, apparently we made 940 thousand dollars. How would you calculate that? How do they add that up? You're saying x plus y? I don't think so. Because that would be saying the number of $35 tickets plus the number of $20 tickets worked out to 940,000. You know what? Let's go with easier numbers. Let's suppose you had $2 tickets and $1 tickets. Let's suppose you sold five twos and two ones. How much money? Five twos and two. How could you get, how'd you get the 12? Ah, Tawny, I heard her brain go click. Talk to me, Tawny. 35 bucks times the number of $35 tickets plus what? 24, 20, 20, not 24, 20 bucks times the number of $20 tickets equals that. There's your two equations. A revenue equation and a how many equation. Which method would work best for this? Substitution or elimination? Well, we're in the elimination lesson, so let's solve this using elimination. What do you want to get rid of, x's or y's? Y's? OK. How? Multiply equation number 1 by negative 20. Let's do that. 
So now I'll start handwriting. Let's go 1 times negative 20. That's going to give me negative 20x minus 20y equals, can someone go negative 20 times 36,500? I have no idea what that is. Underneath that, let's write 35x plus 20y equals 940,000. Add. Uh, 15x equals... 210,000? Double check. Yeah? Please tell me that when you divide by 15, this works out evenly with no decimals because I don't want a fraction of a ticket. I hope. Yes, and positive? Because I said I knew that ahead of time. What do you get? X equals 14,000? What's Y? Sorry? Is that a question, Jordan? No? Uh, let's plug into equation number one. We'll get 14,000 plus y equals 36,500. You could have plugged it into equation two, but I think equation one's smaller numbers and nicer. What's y? Sorry? 22,500. So, how many of the more expensive tickets were sold? 14,000. How many of the cheaper tickets were sold? Yep. That's why I always do this little let statement or label or whatever so that at the end I can go back and figure out what the heck I was trying to find. Okay? Last one. It says solve the following system. This is nasty. Any suggestions? Hey, let's get rid of brackets first. Absolutely. So. Let's see, it's going to be a negative x plus 4y. There's no brackets on that side, but it's going to be dunk, dunk, negative 4x plus 2y minus 2. And, yoink. It's going to be dunk, dunk, 2x minus 2y plus 6 equals 22. Now what? Well, I think Tawny thought it right. She said gather like terms. I'm going to argue there's technically no like terms on any one side. There's no x, like more than one x on one side or more than one x on the other side or more than one i. I, I, I think what you're really saying is get all the x's and y's to the same side. Yeah? Which technically is adding and subtracting. Uh, I'm going to, in this, let's rewrite this first equation. Negative x plus 4y equals negative 4x plus 2y minus 2. I'm going to, I think, plus 4x to both sides. And I'm clever. Rachel, I'm going to write this underneath the x's. You guys okay? Yeah, you were doing pretty good. We almost had it. Almost made it through a whole class without the giggles. Uh, I'm going to minus 2y from both sides. And I think when I do that, what's my new and improved equation if I, holy smokes, that's a messy equal sign, if I drop my equal sign down? 
I think I have 3x plus 2y equals negative 2. That's going to be my equation number 1. Here's equation number 2, 2x minus 2y up, minus 6 plus 6, Mr. Duick, equals 22. What should I do with this one? Sorry? Minus 6 from both sides. I'll get 2x minus 2y equals 16. That's equation 2. I think those look much nicer. That's an equivalent system. That's an equivalent linear system. In fact, you know what? I'm going to write equation 2 underneath equation 1 because that's what we're used to. 2x minus 2y equals 16. There's equation 2. Oh! What's nice about this? Add. I get 5x equals 14. OK, it's not going to work out evenly. Whatever. Uh, x equals 14 over 5. Put a box around it to make it stand out. Um, let's go find y. I think I'm going to stick it into equation 1. So it's going to be 3 bracket 14 over 5 plus 2y. Sorry? Am I wrong? x is 14 over 5. Wherever I see an x, I'm writing a 14 over 5. I think I'm right. In equation 1? Is that not equation 1? Is there not a 3 in front of the x? Sorry? Oh, yeah. You know what? That's yucky enough that I don't think I want to attempt it. I'm going to get, because what I can do is I can check my answer if I really need to. This is, I think, harder than they'll throw at you, by the way. If you handle this, you're in good shape. Uh, I'm going to go times by 5, times by 5, times by 5 because the fives will cancel. I'll get 42 plus 10y equals negative 10. Now what? Ten y equals. I think you'd subtract forty two from both sides, so negative fifty two. Y equals negative fifty two over ten, which is really negative twenty six over five. I really don't feel like checking this one to see if it's right. I think we're going to trust that we are right. If we're wrong, people on the internet will send me comments in my YouTube video. Then I'll know. Okay. What's your homework? So last class, I gave you systems uh, E and F to work on. How many of you have finished both of those? One or two? OK, and I got uh, two more big yucky ones to work on. They're not going to be officially due Thursday. They're going to be officially due Tuesday. Thursday, tomorrow, the lesson is going to be much shorter. I'm probably going to give you a take-home quiz Thursday as well. I'm trying not to give you homework for the long weekend if I can avoid it.